Hello, welcome back. Thanks for clicking the video. Um, if you are new around here, please do consider subscribing. And uh, yeah, if you're not, then thanks for coming back and thanks for being here anyway. Anyway, so yeah, um, as you can see from the, uh, the thumbnail and the title of this video, I, uh, I've got a new hammock. Just trying to get where the best sun is to be honest, where the best light is. Yeah, I've got a new hammock. So um, I haven't unpacked it at all. So I thought in this video we would unpack it and, uh, and hang it for the first time. Excuse the dodgy angle. I don't really want to put it on the floor because it's wet out here. So it's on the, in the boot of the car, at least for us to have a look at anyway. So this hammock is the one wind 11 foot zippered hammock. Um, Not sure what that is. Some stakes and the main unit itself. I'm pretty sure that might be the rain. I'm sure that might be the rain, um, the rain cover, because I'm sure this particular hammock, I'm sure it comes with um, bug net and a rain tarp as well. Um, but yeah, let's get these set up and I'll go from there. So these tree huggers got the one the one brand branding on them uh, and you can see they're well stitched and also what I will say is they're absolutely huge this tree is pretty big what they've gone round appreciate you won't be able to see how thingy that is how uh, far that is but yeah they're huge and to be honest I'm not convinced that's going to be far enough to get a decent uh, hang. But anyway, let's have a look. So this hammock comes with these buckles, which I've never actually had before in a hammock. So I'm assuming they go in one and then back on themselves. So yeah, let's have a look. Try, I'm trying to keep it clean, trying to keep off the floor. So there we go, so I don't want to pull it through, pulls through easy, but once it's on the tree, there's a bit of tension on it, that's really tight that is. There we go then. These buckles, in one back around pull job done and they're tight as anything um, again same that side so it's got a built-in ridge line and it's got uh, a zip so for the bug net built-in bug net as you can see built-in mossy net and it's actually got a zip on each side so you can actually get in either side or out either side so Zips and uh, yeah, obviously 11 foot, so it's huge. Okay, that's interesting. So, one thing I didn't realize looks like you can actually take sorry, I'm filming one handed here, not very easy, but looks like you can actually take the net off, so that's actually completely unzipped now this one side and then if I did the same the other side it would be a yeah just a normal well I say a normal hammock every hammock's a normal hammock yeah that's pretty cool so you can completely unzip the uh, the bug net which I think I think still in the car boot that top things I'm guessing that might zip on so you take the bug net off zip that on um, but yeah, let's have another look. Let's actually get inside, shall we? Let's do the sit test. Let's try it out for size. There we go. I mean, I'm just gonna turn you around. Look at that. Absolutely bags of room in here. 
So, just noticed, you can't really see that, I don't think. A little ridge line organizer. There we go, so, I've just, just unzipped both of the, uh, the mozzie nets. I haven't took them off completely, although I think I do need to, to get the, oh, there we go, it's come off. There we go. So I'm pretty sure, like I say, it comes with a rain tarp. So I'm guessing, let's go have a look at that now. So, not gonna lie, it took me a while to work that out. And the reason is, because there's only one zip on the fly net. I'm not sure if that's correct oh, on the on this on this cover. It's obviously not right because you can completely zip in. However, that's stopped there. So I'm going to go and see if I missed something in the car. I'm currently um, in America, to be fair, in New Jersey. So hence why I'm not in an unusual playground. Uh, if you are here before, and I'm actually getting eaten alive in these woods. So. Uh, Let's see if I missed anything in this bag. Nothing in there. Or how easy does the zip come off here? Ah, there we go. So it appears that the zips are interchangeable. So you only get two zips. Um, there we go. Let's have another go. So that one wouldn't have one. So it comes. Have I done that wrong? I must have done that wrong. I'll bring you back. Let it work it out. I'll bring you back. <laughs> right then. I don't even want to admit how long it took me to work it out, but we worked it out. So now I've got. I think it's. I think it's deemed as a fly cover, but. You couldn't use it without a tarp because one bit of mesh here and it has it's all it's all open so you, you couldn't use it as a I don't know I think it's deemed as a fly cover um, I'll correct myself on screen now if it's uh, if it's not right let's have a look what it looks like inside there we go so we're enclosed. Wow. Do you know what? I really like the uh, I like the material. I don't know what it is, but it's really comfortable. Um, but yeah, the problem with the zips, it's not a problem, I guess. It's just my misunderstanding. So obviously. That's it closed. And then, and then that releases, which releases the top. And then the zip, you take the zip back from this end, back all the way to that end. And then it's got like a, See that? If it focuses. It's got like a different angles. I'm going to call it a gate. It's got like a gate where you sort of like twist the zip. I'll kind of show you. I'll try and show you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. not sure how well that come across on camera. Probably not very well. Um, anyway, and then it also comes with these tie-out points. 
these tie-out points which you can use the the tie-outs which are in the boot to then pull the hammock out I'll drop a picture on screen now so this was in the bag as well with this and this bit of card and it mentions about a prusik, prusik knot and stuff and uh, these two continuous loops so yeah um, a ridgeline organizer it's pretty cool isn't it so let's put that on and then uh, yeah little bag to store your to store your midnight snacks or your phone or whatever I'm a bit confused why you got the continuous loops because it actually come with these velcro loops right okay it might just be me being stupid so the um the original really like the, the organizing bag just goes on with the the straps but they just give you these just in case you want a couple more you know places to hang from i guess uh so yeah i just felt a drip of rain my goodness me um anyway i'll drop some i'll drop some uh i'll put some some stats on screen and stuff but yeah um that's just my initial first look at the one wind 11 foot zippered hammock zipper hammock um yeah so i appreciate it. i didn't make it look the easiest to uh, to put up but it really really was um so yeah like i said before i'm out in america at the moment um i'm not sure about where to sleep and stuff in this um but yeah let me know your thoughts let me know if i should camp out here why i'm out here let me know your thoughts uh, on the one wind 11 foot zippered hammock and um please do consider subscribing um and to see if i do see if i do camp out in hammock uh whilst i'm here thanks very much and goodbye so i'm just packing away Whoa. and it's this kind of thing that puts me off wanting to keep to camp out here because there's the hammock there's the tree there What the hell is that? Yeah. And to be honest, I'm getting eaten alive on my legs. So, uh, yeah. But what's that? Puts me off wanting to sleep out here. I don't know how you Americans do it, but um, yeah. Thanks guys, cheers.